All right, what up, everyone? Cat here, here uh, commentating a loser's quarters of a uh, double squad strike here at Gwinnett Brawl. So right now, Kamikaze has been uh, doing a real good job with this Piranha Plant right now. Scat's uh, pulling out the Shulk, actually. Very interesting. And we've got uh, between Fly Tide and Fallen, we've got Zelda and Mega Man. A lot of a very like distance composition. It'll be interesting to see how uh, Shulk takes on having to get through all these walls of projectiles. All right. Starting out game two here on Kalos, and it looks like we've immediately gotten into uh, two 1v1s. So right now we've got a uh, Kamikaze already getting um, Fightai off stage, but getting too much pressure from both the chaos causing from uh, Fallen and uh, to really get the edge guard. Um, oh, there's a lot going on. Okay. Um, so interesting, like Kamikaze is. Do it looks like he's trying to like. Hold center stage with Piranha Plant, get some Tui's off, make sure that uh, no one can uh, really get any stability in stage control. And it looks like um, Scat's out here trying to play cleanup, basically. But right now, yeah, Kamikaze down one stock, though. It looks like they're having difficulty really like getting their strategy executed. But. All right, all right. So we've got a. Uh, Faisai um, comes in with a, a good edge guard on Kam on a uh, scat, so putting their putting their team up. <laughs> this goes for, goes so I think about like doubles is it's really interesting watching the dynamics, especially when you have like characters like Prana Plant, Zelda, and Mega Man who cover so much space, um, covering like covering the stage. That you end up with this interesting game of like who has control of center stage at any given time, and with the Mega Man and a Zelda taking center stage, and Edgar to go Shulk and Piranha Plant, it's um, it's a tall order trying to get back back in. And we're seeing the we're seeing the issues with it right now that Kamikaze and Scat are dropping stocks left and right right now. So it looks like Kamikaze Kamikaze is um changed up tactics, He's trying to camp under the um. Yeah, Kalos platforms, difficult to drop through and difficult to really, like, cover, but having difficulty, because he seems to be every time he tries to pull a, pull a Tui, can't seem to get much of a break to even throw the, th throw the thing out, so. Difficult work. Oh! Excellent Tui from Kamikaze right then. So right now we've got Mega Man covering the uh, Zelda teleport. Forcing Scat and Kamikaze over to the left side of the stage, and it's... It looks like we might be uh, staging a comeback here for MGG and uh, for Kamikaze and Scat right now. Kamikaze currently um, getting both of them with the uh, Plant Nair, but having difficulty really capitalizing on the advantage as Scat's kind of nairing over there at center stage. I don't know what he's up to. Two parries coming out from Kamikaze. <laughs> God, got a lot going on here. The so scout's going for the uh, edge guard with a uh, side smash, but this player's a little bit too smart for that. It looks like. Um, yeah, it's Kamikaze once again trying to hold center stage. We've got a Mega, Mega Man um, trying his best to make sure that uh, make sure he can't like get any projectiles off. And up, uh, oh wow. First death goes to Kamikaze, taking Scat's um, last stock. So Scat's at 118 on his last stock now. So looking kind of rough for Kamikaze right now. Um, I do have to wonder though, if, if, if Piranha Plant's the, the right choice against this sort of like composition with all these uh, high, high damage projectiles coming out from Zelda and Mega Man. But it looks like he's holding his own pretty well. His experience with it. Like look at right there again. Can't seem to get the two E's off. <laughs> I think he's going to need a lot more uh, help from Scat in order to really try to get a good uh, hold in this matchup. All right, that's a. It looks like they managed to pull this back. Um, got Scat stuck in a shield art for some reason, but it looks like they just need to build up percent and finish them off. Right now they're holding center stage, forcing um, forcing him to uh, sit back and uh, cover with projectiles. So, looking like the odds are pretty pretty good here. Excellent work from the two of them. Is he dead? Okay, no, he's not dead. So it looks like Kamikaze is trying to hit him with the uh, explosive. And they might be trying to set up something really cheesy here. It's hard to tell. But looks like Scat just kind of wants to end it with an edge guard. But this is 
He is surviving for quite a great deal of time. I'm, I'm impressed. They don't seem to be like be, be, uh, be able to approach very well. And as you never see the uh, dial cancel from Scatch, making sure uh, switching from jump just to get get off the ground and immediately switching the shield, make sure he doesn't die for approaching. So good work for the two of them. Interesting, interesting. So it looks like we're, now that back there on managed to get on both sides of Mega Man here, it looks like he's going to have a lot of difficulty, and now he's stuck at ledge again. Is Kamikaze? All right, Kamikaze uh, charging up smash, trying to make sure he can't land, and barely misses the 2E off stage. <laughs> oh, Scat accidentally hitting Kamikaze off, and he's dead. <laughs> All right, that's it. He made it back. Excellent work from uh, Fly Tie and Fallen. Alright, excellent work. <laughs> Alright, so we're looking at well, we get to game three right now. Um Kamikaze Kamikaze and Scat looking having some difficulty with the Kalos pick and they needed um Fly Tide and Fallen able to take a lot of space in Kalos with that lar very large main platform and those distant those distant top platforms, so able to really just prevent them from really getting a foothold and holding center stage as well as they do. I'd, I'd like to see maybe like a mid lane stage, maybe um, Battlefield, uh, Smash 4, even maybe even Town and City just to try to get their opponents a little bit closer. Especially with Scat trying to, trying to uh, using the uh, incredible range of the Monado to um, cover a lot of ground. It looks like Scat had some difficulty when your opponents managed to be so far away. So. Right now they're uh, hovering Unova right now, so might be an interesting uh, stage pick for them. Um, oh yeah, go for it. <laughs> Hello. Oh yeah, good call. All right. So it's one one. Yeah, it's one one. Kamikaze scat, fly tie, and fallen. Um. Fly Tide. Alright, yeah. So, fall so here in Game 3, um, Fallen's Mega Man um, and Fly Tide Zelda okay. cover a uh, lot of space with their moves. They like to um, hang out on the opposite ends of the stage and okay. just try to like pin them in with projectiles. Oh, so. yeah. That seems like the best bet against these two characters, you know. <laughs> The Kamikaze and Scott look like they're switching to uh, the closer to the mains with uh, Yoshi and Inkling. I think a better choice, especially for this. this oh stage. yeah, definitely. With Inkling, they can just get in and combo. Yeah, if Inkling can get in and combo, hold center, and like Kamikaze can hold center stage with some eggs and some like really good combos, then I think we're going to see a lot of success from this team. Uh, but right now, it looks like Kamikaze is holding the top platform with um, eggs, while Scott's getting in with the uh, lots of uh, combos. So. Yeah. But that seems like their best bet too, you know, let one go in, like as like do some skirmishes while the other just like pokes from behind. Yeah, exactly. We saw that a lot last game with um Kamikaze's piranha plant, so we would sit in sit center stage in a neutral B, making sure that no one could approach oh and while man. Scat got shot Scat. Whoa! Ooh. Okay. Wow. Excellent work. Got ladders. Using using the tornado to combo in the up here. Great stuff from that Scat. Is insane. Alright, <laughs> right, looks like uh Uh Fly Flytie is um Trying to um, get a hold in this matchup, pro throw a metal blade, get some F smashes off. Really try to like push, like force their way back in the center stage. But Kamikaze's eggs seem to be doing a really good job of keeping. Yeah, it I was bed. about to say like that <laughs> wall of eggs was literally what was <laughs> one thing that they couldn't get past. So. I mean, I guess if you have like a bunch of like eggs that hit as hard as like boulders, then you mm. might as well throw them, right? Yeah, just let them rip, dude. <laughs> 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 just keep laying them, keep throwing them. All right, so. Uh, Oh. Ooh. Yeah, Fallen accidentally hitting the Zelda with that. So, Kamikaze right now getting um juggled off stage, unable to really help Scat uh, get out of the pressure. Get yeah. out of pressure, so. It looks like they're intentionally keeping him out and just focusing Scat. Ooh, Ooh. nice spike by Fly Tie. Fly Tie. Man. Oh, we just oh. seen and that's Fly Tie die. Oh my god. That happened so quick, I didn't even catch it. And then Kamikaze dies. Wow. <laughs> 
<laughs> and there stocks goes are, Fallen. Stocks are flying off left and right here at Gwinnett Brawl today. Um, I'm, imp I'm impressed with the, uh, the level of aggression from all of these players. Normally when you see Mega Man and uh, Zelda, you'd expect them to be hanging back, but yeah. we're going full in with the Brawls. <laughs> They're just going in, man. So, uh, no holes barred. Oh, good, par good parry from Kamikaze, trying to make sure he doesn't uh, end up off stage from a uh, Fallen's Leaf Shield. Yeah, that Leaf but Shield can definitely gimp you. You've got to be careful. And that big disjoint from uh, fall like Fallen's back air, it's almost like a sword. It's yeah. sword in its own right. Like if you're not careful, you're going, going to so end up off stage for that too. Mm -hmm. I'm not convinced Mega Man isn't a sword character. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> He's like got. He's got the cutter powers. He might as well be. Oh, yeah. good roller from uh, Scat right now, but not able to get the punish. Ooh. Fly time goes off stage. So it's Kamikaze. Ooh. Kamikaze had definitely kill percent. Let's see what happens. So Fallen uh, hit Fly Tie with a Metal Blade there, which um, stalled Fly Tie just enough that they couldn't get a punish. But oh, looks like they managed to get back on their feet. But right now, uh, Kamikaze and Scat are. Well, never mind, but they were looking pretty good, <laughs> but now they're uh, <laughs> both with clean last stocks right now. Oh, man. Um, all right, so. Ooh, Zelda is out. So I, I wonder if he's going to see a stock share. Yeah, Zelda exactly. Did, okay. Making sure uh, Pollen's not going solo against this uh, aggressive barrage of Yoshi eggs and yeah. uh, ink. But I'd be, I'd be worried. I would, yeah. They're definitely keeping them at bay. Look at like they're controlling the whole stage. Uh, like importantly, them. they're not actually taking much damage. They're both at sitting at like right around thirty. Yeah. It looks like they're having difficulty really using the projectiles to leverage any percent and defensive play really paying dividends here. Mm -hmm. Fallen dead. Fly tie um, already off stage. So see what he can do with Zelda. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's a lot of uh, fares on shield. Up, <laughs> oh. Kamikaze hitting with the uh, fair up air. The classic Yoshi combos coming out. <laughs> oh no. Oh, he misses the up smash. Oh, excellent work. Excellent wow. combo. That's the thing about Kamikaze. Kamikaze loves those throw combos. Yeah. I played a game once with um, Kamikaze and Fatality on Piranha Plant and Ganondorf. Oh, man. So it turns out all of Piranha Plant's throw will combo into Ganon up smash. <laughs> that is insane. It's gross. My <laughs> god. But I really appreciate, like, Fatality. Uh, Kamikaze's great ability to have fun with this game. Yeah. Really a great dude. You can tell. <laughs> I just love how fun this game is, period. <sighs> Man, I should have answered doubles. Ah, this is fun. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it looks hype right now, right? <laughs> Who did they say? So, looks like... There's another Rex here, though. There's e Rex. Looks like Vitae Fallen again against the team of uh, GG Noob. GG Noob. Do you know GG? What's up? Oh, so I should probably like play my match. <laughs> Never. Oh, All right, awesome. Now we're on squads. It'll be easier to commentate. Oh, least. that's true. We can actually tell what's going on. <laughs> so, looking forward to see if I have Fly Tie sticks with the um, Zelda and Squad Strike. Maybe a Polyzhena. Maybe. And what's a good complimentary? What's who's a floaty princess type character? Besides Zelda and Palutena, uh, that's not Peach. Cause that's different. That's Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> you said not Peach. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I don't understand why Peach is allowed to have 16 color schemes in this game. Yeah, that is insane. Like. Why can't we just do the ALF situation where you have like a different little character? Yeah. Like I'm glad Daisy's in, don't get me wrong, but you're I mean, right. I love like, Daisy. <laughs> but there's like literally what, no differences besides like colors. No uh, colors.